Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Tune In Tuesday. So today, other than being gorgeously sunny and with blue skies gracing our Tuesday, it has been a very exciting day today because it has been the highest tide of the year. Also the lowest tide of the year, which typically means microplastic mayhem. So I knew that from previous beach cleans down on rock beach that they have a particular issue with microplastics and other plastic pollution down there so with it being the highest tide of the year i wanted to go and see just how bad it really was the high tide has moved all of the organic stuff right up into this top corner and in amongst it all is tiny pieces of plastic and some bigger items too. Some of it is far too small for us to physically pick out and would really need sieving but we'll do all that we can to try and pick as much as we can out of all of this. beach clean today in the glorious sunshine but picking through all of this really is needle in a haystack to find our typical beach cleaning treasures but I like to say I do have quite a good eye for finding these treasures and I have just spotted something that's caught my eye it's very hard to see but let's see if you can notice what I'm looking at here do you see that that is one of our Lego flippers from the 1997 container ship spill. Literally just poking out of the organic matter there. Good find. So this is really sweet. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but this patch here is the area that I was cleaning at the start of lockdown three. And what's happened is because it's been spread out and picked of plastic, little sprouts are coming through of little plants down here. And it's really lovely to see that nature's coming back and thriving after the area has been beach cleaned and litter picking and that's what we need. That's what we want to see across the whole beach, across the whole coastline, it's areas being having the, the human activity and the polluting plastic taken away and nature coming back where it should be. So this is really, really positive to see. So as predicted, the high tide brought in lots and lots of plastic, but as you saw, a lot of it was mixed in with all of the organic matter that had been pushed up into the top corner of the beach, which makes it really hard to remove the microplastics and other plastics once they're tangled in amongst the natural stuff. So how do you actually get plastic off the beach easily? Well, Make sure you're watching next week's Tune In Tuesday as we have a very, very exciting adventure to show you where we headed down to some really, really extreme beach cleans with some of our collaborators to try some new beach cleaning equipment. The rest I'll leave as a surprise. So thank you so much for watching this week's Tune In Tuesday and I'll see you next week for next week's episode.